Yeah, so script wizard uh, for those who don't know, it is an online script debugger, debugger <laughs> online script debugger uh, for both Liquid and Bitcoin. Um, so today I'll be using, you can see it in the top uh, right. So we'll be using Liquid Tab Script. So now Liquid um, Taproot is live on Liquid Testnet um, and Liquid will be activated on mainnet like in, in, around January next year, I believe. Um, but now Liquid, uh, we, we are having new extension of codes um, bundled with Taproot on Liquid. So that, that allows like more much efficient contracting and like direct introspection and like more arithmetic stuff. Um, so I'll be, I'll be showcasing in a sec. Um, so maybe like, um, maybe like, like, let's get started. Like I'll be like, uh, like building a script, um, like with given any arbitrary condition and I'll fund it and I'll spend it. Like, hopefully that will guys inspire you guys and you guys hopefully experiment uh, cool things like covenants on your own. Um, so I'm in script with ID. Uh, we also have, um, two tools here. One is a signature tool. So you can uh, create your own key pairs and you can assign, uh, you can create ECD extension or signatures here right in your browser. Um, I think it's pretty useful. And we have also the uh, a data manipulation tool. So you can enter your data and you can see in binary in little endian, big endian and the hash. So I'll, I'll be using the uh, both tools uh, in, in this workshop. So. And also I'll be using my elements node. So I'm running uh, my own elements node for liquid testnet um, with some funds in it. Um, you can uh, check out liquidtestnet.com for config and for false at all and that sort. Um, so, um, so I'm aiming to uh, create a, a script, uh, a tap script uh, to speak of um, and so, and create a tap tap page tap output and spend it. I found it and spend it. Um, so that is the purpose. <laughs> so maybe like um, so we have an editor on the on the left side and the uh, stack uh, on, on the on the right side. So you can see the like the stack execution like line by line, right? Uh, so uh, like instead of using like comment line, it says previous. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you're right. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll divide editor into two parts. The first one being the like the stack elements from the top and the witness script. Um, so I want to create a script like let's say uh, maybe a little bit advanced one. Maybe like okay. Um, um, let's um, have two paths in our script, right? Um, op else, op if, op if, and op and if. Um, let's have a happy path, like um, like have a oracle path and a timeout path. Okay, so let's create an oracle. Um, so it's just a key pair, right? I'm an oracle now, <laughs> even as pub key. Um, so I'm an oracle. Uh, in a happy case, I want to constrain the first output, uh, the script puppy of first output, the address of first output. In a timeout case, uh, the forms are given to, let's say, a predetermined address. Um, and this is a single leaf, tap leaf spent. Uh, I can also introduce a keypad spent, depending on your case. Um, so let's start with, obviously, the, the stack, the, like the stack element decide on which path we are executing? Let's say, uh, let's let's get start with the um, the timeout path first. So in a timeout path, um, it's op zero. It's just executing this block. Um, I wanna um, constrain the first output um, to a predetermined address. So we have a um, transaction template built in with the ID, so you can um, sort of add new inputs or new outputs, you can fill data. Um, and so the inspection of codes that are added to Liquid recently uh, are pushing data based on fill data or this template. Um, and we are like 
we are essentially simulating like we are spending this input, the current input index, and we are like spending this input, and we want to constrain the first output, the index zero. Um, so okay, in a timeout path, um, let's constrain. Let's came up with okay. Let's first fill the asset ID, right? So we are in testnet, and the testnet asset ID is this. This is predetermined. Uh, liquid mainnet asset ID is different, um, but this is mainnet LB. So this testnet LBTC asset ID, um, and then let's um, create a script pub key. So I wanna, obviously we're spending a pay to tablet address, like a pay to tablet input, but I wanna construct a, a segwit output for the sake of simplicity. Um, so I'm going to my console. Um, I just wanna create like a random script, Double map, just a random one. Um, and it's like gives me the address. I'm not interested in pay to script hash. Um, I'm nor like segwit, I just, uh, obviously, I, I just need to uh, fill the script puppy, right? This is a uh, like a P2 witness script hash script puppy, right? Uh, op zero and push and pushing the uh, witness program. So, and the amount is like this, like this is the timeout in a timeout path, like phones are constrained to this puppy. Um, the amount, let's say, like um, imagine like this is, let, let's say, this. Like you take us holding like thousand sets and maybe a bit more like 1100, uh, 100 for fees and thousand to this output maybe. Um, and so I wanna like put a thousand sets in here. Um, so using my helper, I can like convert a thousand to little Indian. Um, obviously this is 64 bits. So I need to make this eight bytes. Right, um, so this is thousand sites in Little Indian, um, and I just save it. So in a timeout path, I need to first make sure like the first output index, right, op zero. I'm inspecting this inspect using the inspection op code. Uh, I want to inspect the inspect output uh, asset, right? So what this does is like this uh, push the n asset at the top of right the first the asset ID 32 bytes and followed by the prefix. The prefix set to one is a public asset. Um, so I just wanna uh, verify this, right? The one is gone and now we have the asset ID. By the way, as you maybe uh, re realize the asset ID is in reverse order. So the LBDC asset ID is like in, in the serialization is a big ending, but it pushed the little ending. So I'm hard coding this in my script and I wanna constrain to this asset ID, right? Maybe let's call it here. Right, I, I wanna make sure first output is not tethered, not like any, like a token, uh, like this is LBTC. Um, and then I wanna constrain the amount, right? Constrain, let's say amount. And I'm inspecting the first output amount, right? And inspect not input, right? And so it pushes the uh, the the value right, and in little Indian, and followed by a prefix, which is one. I'm verifying the, the prefix and thousand sets, right? This is the data I inspect. Uh, and this is, I'm, I'm hard coding this and I'm matching the hard coded value with the inspected value. Right. And I finally, um, I want to constrain the address, right? The first output address. So the address is associated with this script hub key. Um, so in order to do this, I'm inspecting the output script pub key. So what this does, um, it pushes the witness program followed by the witness version. So since it's a SegWit output, um, it's the version zero, right? I just, uh, I'm constraining to a wit SegWit witness version. And then the, um, 
write the witness program. String, I'm hard coding it and a constraint. So yeah, I'm, this is the timeout path, right? The timeout case, I obviously need to define a timeout, right? So let's have a relative time lock, right? Like let's say five block, right? This, the input I'm spending has to like, have like this uh, five blocks elapse, uh, five blocks has to elapse since the, uh, since I spent this um, sort of construct this output. Um, then let's, I can do check seconds verify obviously, but we can do um, inspect, Input seconds as well. Uh, it's the same, the equivalent of check seconds verify um, in a different way. It's a bit less efficient though. Um, I'm, I'm equal verifying it. Yeah, so this is a timeout case. Uh, five blocks later, I can, um, this so the funds are constrained to this witness program. So in a, um, in a happy case, let's say an Oracle case, um, the Oracle, is deciding uh, which address sort of uh, are having the sorts, right? Thousand sorts. Um, so um, I'm going to my signer tool. So I wanna create another like a witness program uh, that the Oracle assigns, right? So I'm just creating a random this program. Um, this for instance, I'm signing this like as the data, like the data sign, I'm signing as the witness program I'm nominating um, and I sign it and it creates a 64 byte, um, right, uh, short signature. Um, so this comes from the witness, right? In a happy case, but I need to change the case of one here in the Oracle case. Um, and so signature at the top, and I wanna, so in an Oracle case, so the only thing the Oracle decides is the address, right? Um, the amount and asset ID are the same. Um, I'm adding these constraints and then I'm inspecting the, Um, output script pubkey. Um, it's a segwit output, so I'm um, verifying that it's a segwit. Right. So this um, obviously I need to change it. Right. This is the this is our nev. Uh, um, like this is the happy case script pubkey. Uh, let me change it. Sorry. Yeah, um, so the signature comes from so witness, right? And I inspect the um, the uh, witness program, which is the, the message we're signing. And I am hard encoding the, the Oracle pub key in my script. So this is a 32 byte pub key. Um, so this is the X only pub key uh, for Schnorr. And I'm doing a check seek from stack. Um, so basically um, it's one, so it's it's valid signature against the, uh, the, the message, which is the witness program that we inspect. Um, so that in a happy case, uh, Oracle can constrain the first output to an address uh, that he assigns, right? Um, so this is pretty much the script, right? Um, so I need to compile this uh, into bytecode, um, then fund it and then spend it. Um, but first I need to comment the state elements from witness because I don't want to compile them. I only want to compile the witness script starting with OBF. Um, there's a compile button over here. I click this and it compiles the bytecode, uh, my script. I can copy it and go to the elements console and do decode script. Paste it. You can see the ASM. You can double check it's correct. Um, and then it, it it creates a tablet output, right? 
So you can introduce a key path if you want. Um, so it is by default set to an unknown discrete logarithm. So if, because I want to, for some reason, want to eliminate a key path span, it's I want to enforce a, a script path span. All, obviously it's single, a single leaf script path. Um, for, on elements, tap leaf version is C4 instead of C0 in Bitcoin. Um, and it's basically created a tweak key and a script path key. Um, so this is the taproot output, right? I want to create, I want to fund, right? So I don't know, like, I think elements does not support that short D2M yet. Um, I don't know, like what's the easy way to fund this, but I generally do, <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I generally fund it by hand, like creating transaction by hand. <laughs> um, I'm open to suggestions by the way, but <laughs> uh, so this is like the transaction, right? It's a pretty simple, like two outputs, one input. My first output is like this witness, like this script pub key I want to fund. Um, fees in liquid are also outputs, unlike in Bitcoin. So this is a uh, hundred sites fee and a thousand. And this is uh, 11, um, 1100 uh, in, in, in big ending. Um, and I want to create a funding input. So this is just going to be like op1, <laughs> segwit output. Like I, I'm literally funding op1. <laughs> uh, anyone can spend for the sim for simplicity. Uh, and, and sending 1,200 sats. So output index zero. I need to reverse this. I can use my tool. Right, this is the end result. Um, I can paste it, it's a dream of the spaces, so it's pretty simple. And I can just maybe decode roll transaction and send roll transaction. So this is the funding TX, right? Maybe let's check on Blockstream Explorer. Oh, I didn't realize you were actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah come back in like minute like it will uh, it takes some it, it takes a couple minutes but so yeah let's um let's 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 spend, let's try to spend this though um so i also have a template for spending tx obviously we are trying to spend a page to tap it up right um this is the uh, the odd point right that the that that output lives in um i also need to reverse this Right, um, and my first output is I'm I'm interested in the happy case, right? So my my first output is uh, the one the uh, the oracle is signed, and which is this uh, sending um, thousand sats, hundred fees, right? So in the witness, right, we're spending a pay to tap root output, uh, maybe. Not yet. Um, yeah, I'm spending a pay to tap output. So the last stack element is the control block, right? Um, so let's construct a control block. This is a single leaf spend. Um, so my tweak key is uh, odd, right? So my control block, it's this tap leaf version C4 plus, plus the oddness sign, one C5 followed by the inner key, which is the discrete, unknown discrete logarithm. And this is 33 bytes, 21 in hex. So this is the control block, right? Followed by the witness script bytes. So this is my script. Let's see how many bytes is this? It is 187 bytes. Uh, BB in hex in uh, unsigned BB length, script length. And this, yes. And the, the op one, right? This is the happy case. Um, and hope that works.
All right, uh, yeah, I haven't updated this signature. Uh, so this was our signature. This is for the, uh, the 64 white slot, so 40 in hex. So this is my role transaction, right? Sending to this, um, sorry, address the Oracle uh, decided and thousand sets, right? And spending my pay to tap root output, uh, which hopefully. <laughs> this was the pay to tap route I was funded, right? As you see, it says unknown though. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just spend it, which I did. Um, so now, now I spend it um, um, based on the happy path. Um, so yeah, I, I could have gone for the uh, timeout pad as well, um, or I could have gone for the the keypad spend, right? Uh, if I did, if I was introduced to the keypad. Um, so yeah. Um, Again, like, um, so it's, it's pretty cool to experiment with this stuff, right? Um, so um, you can try it out online. Um, and um, there is a, these are recently added, by the way, um, to testnet, so recently activated on testnet. Uh, but there is this uh, documentation. I should, I should put a link on, on the group. Um, you can see the details like the like the descriptions of each like the opcodes um some of those are not like active like um fully implemented on scripts yet but most of them like inspection the arithmetics do so um yeah, you can play around you can play around with like online um so yeah that's that's pretty much it guys well thank you so yeah, uh, if you like, I, I'm happy to like answer if you, any specific questions that you might have. Uh, I definitely have a lot of questions, but um, for for those of us who are mere mortals, uh, like how did how did you get to the point where you had that transaction template? Like where where would you typically construct uh, a transaction like that? You know, not not in the notes app. like uh like on um, like like in my like in my work like how do i do that like yeah i mean i guess um i mean it seems that you're you're very keen at <laughs> like looking at a uh that giant block of uh so, so not the stuff in script was but the transactions that you had in notes those templates like where what was your methodology for constructing uh, what was methodology for what? Sorry. In notes. You, oh, that's you, a, it's a transaction. Yeah, yes, yeah. so, but I mean, like it's how? It's all binary transaction. Right, you like know it. you, you just know it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what, like I prepared it like for the workshop, right? It, um, that's like a template for two. Well, I have two templates, right? One for funding, one for spending, right? Um, yeah, yeah. No, I get you did no. prep work. I, I guess I'm just really wondering, like. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit value. It's the same format I do. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of, yeah. yeah and, that, and that's the same question we ask you. Yeah. <laughs> so we do a class where we learn the uh, uh, system every week, and it's the exact same, which is yeah. why I was laughing at it because I invented my format, but it looks exactly the same. <laughs> so, um, these guys have seen me. Like, do the same thing. But I mean, it's really brilliant. The tool, you know, like you, you can write it out any way you want, and then you just remove all the white space. Yeah. There you go, you've got it. But like you can. Yeah. Or, you know, anyway, that was very that was very useful to see. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the feedback. Like, yeah, I don't really know like, like the, the what's the easiest way to like construct a transaction, right? Like, I don't know if there's a common line for that, but like, <laughs> I think like uh, I just just wanted to like put a template and like 
uh, change that old template and, and like broadcast it. Like I think that was the most most communicated. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right then. Uh, thank you guys. Then I wish you guys a great rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. I cannot believe how quickly.